guys, good morning. Um, today we're gonna be cleaning up this rosemary bush here. Um, it's looking a little bit scraggly and it just needs a trim really good. Um, and then we're gonna take um, all of the rosemary that we've cut off and I'm gonna dry that in the oven um, so I can have some dried rosemary. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you're starting with a really clean pair of clippers. These are just my regular garden clippers and I clean these off with they um, alcohol wipe, so rubbing alcohol wipe. And then I'm just going to go through here and just clip off some branches that I don't really like the look of. I like to grow this rosemary more upright than out. So anything that kind of sticks out, I'm just going to go ahead and clip that off. stuff that's been kind of laying on the ground there. I think we'll just go ahead and toss that out. Okay, so I'm gonna work a little bit more down here and then we'll go ahead and take our rosemary into the kitchen. Okay, so I got the rosemary trimmed up here. It's looking a lot better. That little pile right there, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and dry. And then that pile right there, I'm just gonna go toss um, in the garbage. So um, it's looking a lot better. I try to get this um, pruned up pretty good every spring and then I do it again in the fall. Um, and you know, this grows great year round. So I use it um, in a lot of different um, dishes and foods. And I also just kind of um, cut some of the um, you know, planned off and just display it like you would with a um, floral display and it smells really great. So I'm going to go ahead and take those into the kitchen, get them washed up and cleaned, and then we'll get them into the oven. Okay, we're back in the kitchen. I'm going to go ahead and get all this washed up and then dried, and I'm going to let this air dry for a little bit too, just to make sure that all of the moisture is off of all the rosemary. The rosemary is washed up here. Um, I've dried it a little bit, and like I said, I'm gonna let this air dry for maybe a half hour or so, and then we'll get it in the oven. Okay, our rosemary um, has air dried for a little bit. I'm going to put two cookie sheets that are lined with parchment paper into the oven. I have the oven set at 175, and I'm gonna let these go for um, at least 45 minutes. I'll check them at that point and see if they need to go a little bit longer. So we'll see you then. Okay, our rosemary is out of the oven. It did take about 45 minutes for everything to dry. And I let these both cool down to room temperature. Um, and now all we have to do is basically take all of our sprigs here and then just turn them out into a bowl. So you'll just take one of your pieces here and then just kind of go against the grain a little bit and those should fall right off. And you can just toss those pieces when you're done with it. So I'll go ahead and do the rest of these and then we'll um, see what everything looks like. Okay, so here's kind of what we have left. Um, I took all the rosemary off of each one of the, the sprigs here and this is nice and dry, it's looking good. I'm going to try and fit as many of um, these little pieces into this just little canister that I have here. Um, if you have more than that, just go ahead and store it. Um, you know, store everything in a Ziploc bag, that should be fine too. So. This was just a quick, easy tutorial on how to dry your own rosemary.